Hello everyone, it is now time for the hard boss fight of the New Year's event in Card Fight, where we shall be playing a crappy Brooded Triangle deck against a only slightly better Oracle Thing Time deck. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do. Right, well, whether we have the entire rage chain. Um, let's see, he's pretty terrible. Okay, we've got a 10k vanilla. And fair guard. That's a good swap out. Yep, that allows you to look at the top card of your deck, but not actually change it. Wonderful. Ah, uh, well, drawing those was kind of crap. It would have been much nicer if we just drove check those instead of adding them to hand. Great. More triggers. Horrible. I didn't like any of that. Ugh, no trigger. Of course. Well, I mean, in fairness, there's four triggers in my hand. No, no, that 10k vanilla becomes 11k. Uh, yeah, this is uh, a bit of a problem because we don't have any great ones that can boost. We've got a pair of guards that I don't really want to go calling. And that also puts that heal back into her deck. Hmm. Great, we've got two power cards. Oh my goodness. So five triggers. Is it even worth calling the 10k rear guard? I don't think it is. I'm just going to attack the rear guard and hope to hit a trigger. Wow. Shocking. But even if I called 10k vanilla, it wouldn't have done anything because I can't give the power to two units and both of them are 11 ks And there's even more 11 ks Wonderful. On the plus side, Mizaki doesn't have any hand anymore, so that's pleasing. Now, if I had some kind of ability that could actually destroy stuff, that'd be good. But I don't see that happening, not in this deck. Okay, so problematic. Um. Since you attack hits. Hmm. Okay. We can do that. Uh, no, don't proceed to my main phase. No. You guys have seen this, right? There we go. Right. Okay, what are you? Uh, one of our units gets plus 2000. Wonderful. Okay, so if I've got four rear guards. Hmm. Calling you and you. The 10k can hit over that. I need 4 rear guards to get you to 11k. And then we're not going to Persona Blast because there's no point. They don't really want to go using you yet. So we have to call random cards. Right, well, these are both crap. The reason I'm calling these here is because um, these two rear guards will get destroyed eventually, and then we can just move the grade 3s up. But that also allows this turn to 11k, which allows me to destroy that, and this 10k can destroy this. And then I can hit the vanguard as well. And I also have two things protecting me, while also having two perfect guards in hand. Uh, no, don't invoke. Why, why would I do that? It doesn't stand them. <laughs> okay, now we're in a position where the ability might be useful.
Hmm. It's not a great situation. Okay, we can do this. I think that makes sense. Although I'm not sure why. I've got one pair of garden hands, so I really need to keep that grid two in the front row. Which means I might as well storm blast. This one. Okay, so obviously the thirteen hit can't hit the vanguard, but I can to destroy both rear guards rather than going for the vanguard. Yeah. I think that's what I have to do. Because otherwise I won't survive next turn, because we've only got one pair of guard in hand. So yeah, the maximum you can make is two columns. I mean, you could move the second K forward, but it wouldn't hit. Okay, so we really want to try and finish it this turn, if possible. Right, so no raid. Move you forward and then call these two grade one boosters. And then we use the Persona Blast and see if that just wins. Right, let's do it. <coughs> I don't think the order really made any difference, but... And that's 26, or 28, so don't be a perfect guard. We may actually win this. Oh my god. <clears throat> well, because we've got two heal triggers in hand, and we've already used one. There's only one left in deck. Makes me think we're probably going to lose this, but that was almost incredible. He almost pulled that back with sheer determination and grit. Yeah, that was horrible. God, I hate Bermuda Triangle. They are a terrible dick. I don't care what you say. Fight me. It's an awful dick. I suppose we'll just keep trying until we win. Wouldn't mind if I was playing something a bit better, but what do you even do? Oh, no, you're terrible. No. Ah, jeez. That didn't work out even remotely good. So I love how this thing on place soul, soul charge is one when nothing in the deck soul blasts. So what's, like, legitimately, what is his point? What is the purpose of this? In his point, it better not be his artwork. Jesus Christ. Yeah, welcome to the uh, Grand Cat Complains About Boom Industry. Hope you're all enjoying it.
Oh, wonderful. Good. Okay, what we're doing here? 10k vanilla? Do I have enough to make you useful? Yeah. Yeah, barely. It's going to take your entire hand though. What are you doing, Vanguard? Wow. Useless. Okay, maybe we'll just do a little bit of damage here. Yep, that was the same heal trigger that cost me in the last game. Oh my god. Well, at least I got a heal. Woohoo. Oh my goodness, okay, we've got two perfect guards in hand. That's incredibly useless. What is even the point? I can take out the rear guards and I can't do anything else. Great, heals. Draw triggers are much more helpful at this point. Oh my god, I'm against an actual deck for this crap. I can't even use my 8k vanillas to attack Silent Tones because of the plus 1000 business. could call an 8k vanilla here and hope for a trigger, but it just seems wasteful. Now I'm just going to attack. Great. I think this has used all of our heals. No, only three of them. Okay. It felt like I'd used four. I don't know if you can perhaps hear the frustration just in the voice. Just the hatred of this stupid event. Bermuda Triangles. <laughs> well, the plus side. The Mizaki has no hand again, so that's good. And now we're facing the other problem. Um, in the last game we had no grade ones, now we have nothing but grade ones. Wonderful. Does it even matter which one we attack with? There's a large part of me that just wants to tie that rear guard. I've got two pair of guards in hand. Let's take the vanguard and see what happens.
Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take the rear guard. I don't have any rear guard protection, there's no grade twos. This makes more sense. Don't get a trigger. Oh my god, I said don't. So now we're relying on our last heal from 14 cards. 1 in 14 card chance. Excellent. So I can get a heal when it matters? No, of course not. You got pepper guard. God, this deck is terrible. I mean, the deck literally does nothing. It There's no draw power, there's no effects at all. I mean, an effect, if you can call it that, is the grade 2 that's 8k that gets plus 3000 if you've got 4 year odds. And other than that, I don't think anything does anything. None of this sure does. Oh yeah, and there's that a grade 2 8k that on place, um, you have another card, plus 2,000. Wonderful. Great, a 9k vanilla. Vanguard. That's pleasing. Which means we have to call this grade 1 to here, otherwise this isn't going to hit. Unless we get a hit trigger. Which we didn't. This is a good thing I placed that grade 1. Good, even more hand advantage. Against oracles. The, the deck of hand advantage. In fairness, my hand is looking a little bit more acceptable. Not good, but acceptable. I'm thinking tank even of this. Yeah, that looks good. I'll keep the 11k grade 2 for uh, later. Plus here, I'm on 2 damage. You're on 1, 17, 18. Doesn't really matter. Let's do it with Vanguard first. No trigger. No trigger. Okay, we're accomplishing a thing. Although the computer's grade 3 is much better than our grade 3. In case we've got 2, 11k, grade 2 is in our hand. That's good. And both of those will be 11ks, those 8ks, because the opponent can't get rid of the 2 uh, grade 1s in the back row. That heal trigger's pretty annoying though. That was damned irritating. I don't know what you are again. You're just plus three. Go for this. But the thing is, I still have to call a grade one behind here. I'll just move the 7k there instead. Because that's only a 10k and not 11k. Oh well, it goes up to 13. Yay, I suppose. Uh, so 11k. There's no stat triggers in this deck, is there? No. Useless. 
I'll do this just in case I can hit a critical. No, no such chance. Grade two and a grade three, so we can still refill our board. Um, this is not helpful, is it? No. Oh, it's eleven k. No, it's not helpful. It's crap. Right. Well. You can go here, and this has to go over here, because that makes a 16k column. And that also makes you 12k. Not that that really matters in respect. Let's tie the vanguard first, see what happens. And then that will decide whether I'm attacking the, the vanguard or the rearguard. All the triggers. Let's see if we can kill her. Whoa! Well, that was unexpected. All thanks to that random crit and heal. Because I needed both triggers, otherwise, that wasn't hitting. Distinct lack of skill involved there. Pretty much sheer luck. Don't know what else to tell you. I mean, there's a minor bit of strategy involved. Well, that is the New Year event complete. And might I just say thank goodness for that. Whew. What a miss. And there we are. There's a little... Banner for the New Year's Wishes. Um, I suppose it could compete in a tournament, but I don't really feel like it just now. So that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and we shall see you next time.